Well, hello there. I hope that this video is finding you in good health and in good spirits. I'm having a pretty good day. It's actually a long holiday weekend here in Eastern Canada. Uh, actually, most jurisdictions in Canada it is. This is our family day. And it's just a bit of a break from the February blahs, I guess. Question for the cards today. With the revelations that have come out about Fox News and their lawsuit against Dominion voting machines, is the Republican base going to, um, how is it going to react to the disdain and contempt that Fox News has for their viewers? Now, if you're not aware what I'm talking about, Fox News really went over time during the 2020 election to push the lie that the election was stolen and they came up with all these and promoted all these theories that a company by the name of Dominion Voting Machines, who makes the electronic vote recorders in the United States, uh, was somehow flipping votes from Trump to Biden, and this is the the grounds for their election fraud. This is completely and totally false, totally fabricated. Um, but there was people that were being brought onto the air or allowed on the air that were peddling this conspiracy theory. If that wasn't bad enough. Dominion voting machines, of course, stands to lose millions and millions of dollars on sales if this is believed by people so they have struck back initially they started by contacting fox news and telling them and fact checking them and there's some 3600 uh communications with fox news uh still the deceit went forward fox news is trying to shut down uh dominion's 1.6 billion dollar lawsuit and it's actually been thrown out of court, but what's come forward is the evidence that Dominion Law has uh, towards their lawsuit. And it includes um, depositions that they have of people like Rupert Murdoch, who owns Fox News. He's the head of the Fox News Corporation, Tucker Carlson, and Laura Ingram, and... Sean Hannity and all of those individuals who in their depositions, which of course are made under oath, have come forward that they never believed this lie that the election was stolen and that all of these individuals that were being brought out to back it, like the Sidney Powell's and the Rudy Giuliani's, they consider them to be liars. They consider them to be lunatics, their word. They considered them to, you know, be uh, mad as hatters. Yet they kept bringing them back onto the air and proclamating these theories that the election had been stolen. Well, Fox News is in the process of discovering that behavior has consequences. Life 101. In fact, Tucker Carlson was so enraged that one of Fox's own reporters had fact-checked this posted a tweet, I guess, and had said that there is no evidence that these voting machines are doing anything other than tabulating the votes as they are, uh, that there is no change, there is no switcheroo. And Tucker Carlson tried to have her fired because fact checking or telling the truth to the American public was bad for stock prices. So we know where the priority is. It isn't about uh, maintaining a civil democracy in the United States. It's about ginning up controversy and proclamating lies for the purpose of turning a profit. That's what Fox News is all about. Not that a lot of us haven't figured this out a long time ago, but it is interesting to see it come out into the public. And my question is, will this have an impact on the Fox News viewership? How do the 
viewers think about it because Fox has been very contemptuous of their viewers. They think they're rubes. They think they're stupid. How's that sitting with the the uh, Fox News viewership? That's the question before the cards today. Now, if you're one of uh, my regular viewers or one of the wonderful people who subscribe and make up this community, so lovely to have you here. If you are new to this channel, my name is Kate. I love all things tarot. In particular, I love political tarot, which of course this is, although we are trying to branch out a little bit from that. If you are a tarot card collector, the deck we're using today is the Jack-O-Lantern Tarot by Juliana Costa. And I will have the particulars of that uh, deck in the show notes below. So right down to brass tacks. How are the Fox viewing public going to respond to the disdain and contempt that has come out uh, that Fox News has for their viewers. First card in this reading, we have the Page of Cups and it's in a reverse position. Page of Cups reverse is about repression, it's kind of about a lack of confidence. And all pages, of course, are messengers from spirit. And if it's in a reverse position, it is more than likely bad news. And we will pull that page's message at the end of the reading. Now, the next card in the reading, we have the King of Pentacles, also in a reverse position. King of Pentacles, when it's reversed, this is a harsh, critical, uh, materialistic individual who is more than glad to use money in order to manipulate. It's about putting money over all other considerations. This is quite a damning baseline for this reading. You have this ir irresponsible, repressed energy, immaturity, and then you have this harsh critical entity who is only interested in making money above all other considerations. Now in the past position, we have the King of Wands, and he's in a reverse position. King of Wands, when it's reversed, this is a corrupt power. It is about a controlling dictator who is unable or unwilling to control the impulses. So certainly, Fox News, this is not something new for them. They have been at it for a long while. The whole idea that they can uh, lie with impunity to their viewer base. This is no news to anybody. In the future, we have the Eight of Cups. This is an interesting card. Eight of Cups, of course, about dramatic change and uh, abandonment. It's moving on from that, which no longer serves you. It is discontent with the current situation. It's leaving that kind of unhappy or unsatisfying relationship. So, you know, we're coming down to the question is how are the, the Fox viewing public going to view this? Well, there's, there's a hint for you. They're not going to be happy with this. And they are, this is going to chip away at the hold that Fox News has with their public. Now, Part of the, the Fox News' problem is that they have considerable competition on the right and the more extreme right, and uh, they certainly have established media on left and left center that people also have access to. Now, just to put something to bed right now, you know, Fox News is always about, you know, they're the plucky little individuals who are telling the truth to the American people, unlike the mainstream media. The number one cable news network in the United States is Fox News. They're not some rogue element. They are the mainstream media. You know, so let's just get rid of that nonsense. In the, the goals or the reading, we have the Six of Cups. Six of Cups is about um, good childhood memories. It's often about nostalgia. It is that longing for the past that really never existed. And this is, I think, 
a lot of what we have, this drawing, um, what draws people is this whole notion that once upon a time when women and people of color knew their place, Everything was groovy and it's all gone to hell since then. And what we have to do is get back to when people don't stand up for themselves and everything will be groovy again. So this is really one of the huge messages that Fox News has been pumping for years. So it doesn't surprise me that the nostalgia card should come up as the sky of the reading. Now, hmm, interesting. Underneath the reading, below the foundation of the reading, we have the Knight of Cups. and He's in a reverse position. This is the unloyal knight. This is the faithless lover. This is the individual who practices deception for his own gain. This is about cheating. It's the deceptive charmer. Tells you what you want to hear. And, you know, I love you, I love you, I love you. And then it leaves you standing in a snowstorm somewhere. This is the energy of this, the Knight of Cups when in reverse position. This is all about, I will do whatever I have to do to meet my goals, and I don't care who I hurt. I don't care what damage I do. That is Knight of Cups energy. Now, when we're looking at the impact and advice section, we have the Nine of Swords in a reverse position. Nine of Swords in reverse is about solace and recovery. It's about hope. It's about overcoming stress, healing from trauma. Those all things that we associate with the Nine of Swords in uh, reverse. It's about the trauma and the worst of it being over. This is going to have a serious impact on Fox News credibility and reputation by the viewing public. It might take a while before this sees, you know, and before it shows up and things like ratings, etc. But this is going to have an impact. This edifice of uh, constant lies and we can demonize everybody around us like this is going to fade. This is going to go. One of the things that it is very hard for people to sustain the cognitive dissonance essentially forever. I mean, Abraham Lincoln, as he famously put it, you can fool some of the people all the time and all the people some of the time, but you can't fool all the people all the time. This is absolutely the circumstances that Fox News is running up against. Now... External influences, no surprise here, we have the Seven of Swords. This is a card about theft and deception. It's about betrayal, it's dishonesty, it's cunning, it's trickery. Um, you know, it's <laughs> dirty deeds done dirt cheap. It's about the theft of property or ideas. It's about deceptive people. Um, it's about sneaking around and getting away with something that you know to be wrong. And this is really the key to this uh, scandal is that not that these were not put on the air, these ideas that the election was stolen and all of these, their words, lunatics that were trotted out um, as guests and experts on their show. This was not done in good faith. This was not done with as you know misunderstanding of the circumstances or situation this was done knowing full well that what was being said and what was being promoted was deceptive and they certainly had plenty of opportunities to pull back from it and chose not to in the hopes of fears department we have the king of cups in reverse and Holy cow, this is the third king in this reading. Like, wow. I mean, you get this many kings. We're talking about uh, powerful people. And when they're reversed, we're looking at that kind of energy, that leadership energy that we normally associate with kings as uh, being twisted or perverted in some way. So three kings in a reading, all of them in reverse position. This isn't good. 
Anyways, back to the King of Cups in reverse. This is a card that is about manipulation, self-centeredness, uh, emotional drama, and emotional manipulation, which is exactly what we're talking about. And this is the fear that's associated with it. People are going to start to wonder what they've been fed and whether they can trust it. It is going to have a huge impact on Fox's future. And that's where we're getting, you know, the future card that we had with the Eight of Cups, people walking away from what they no longer serves them. We have with the Nine of Swords in reverse and the impacting advice section, the whole idea of overcoming and allowing the trauma to heal. And people coming wise to that seven of swords, that theft and deception. This is going to be impactful. And the final outcome that we have here is the four of swords in a reverse position. Now this is a card about exhaustion and restlessness and burnout to the point of uh, just, you just don't know what to do anymore. You're overwhelmed. It's about being pressured to always be doing something to advance a situation when you can no longer go on. It's about being sick from, you know, overwork, having pushed things, push the boundaries as far as you can, and you just don't have it in you anymore to continue. My idea uh, behind this is that Fox News is going to, they're going to have their, you know, come to Jesus moment here. And they're going to have to make some decisions. They have certainly manipulated public perception uh, for a long time for the purpose of making a fortune. They, they've done it around the world. In Australia, of course, where Rupert Murdoch found his start, also in the United States um, and in the UK. They have been poisoning a lot of wells for a long time. But I think that the Piper is going to get paid here. And we had a page. We had the Page of Cups in the present or subject position, start of the reading. And the page's message for us is the Chariot. Chariot is about taking action uh, and overcoming challenges and things moving full speed ahead about making decisions and um, the, the, having the discipline and the willpower to make those decisions come up ahead, pushing past obstacles and following through on ideas in order to, to steer the course in different directions. Bad news. And that page was reversed, remember, which means it's more likely to be bad news. Well, the bad news is people are on to you and they are not going to take it lying down. Now, I don't expect there to be protests in the streets or anything like this, but don't be surprised if within a year we see Fox News really having to scramble to maintain their market share. Obviously, some of the viewers are going to go further right, the Newsmax and all the rest of that sort of stuff. But, I mean, they do have an issue. The other thing, too, is I'm kind of looking over this reading. This isn't a very emotional topic. Uh, I mean, five of the cards, almost 50%, five of the 11 cards that I have pulled have been cups. Cup suit, we're always talking about emotions and feelings. And so a lot of people are going to be in an emotional turmoil. And this is cognitive dissonance. This is when, you know, you, the cracks are starting to fade. Maybe not every person in your neighborhood who thinks differently than you or sees the world in a different view, maybe they're not all communists and socialists and pedophiles and drinking the blood of children. And maybe people can have legitimate, um, different, divergent views on the world without being uh, evil and demonic, because that is one of the things that Fox News has been trying to amplify and push for 20 years. These days are coming to a close. 
don't think it's going to happen overnight. Don't think it's going to even happen in that much of the near future. But the seed has been planted. And the seed has been planted. And the reason I know that is because that eight of cups showed up in the near future position. So that's my reading for today. That's my take on things with the, the Fox News universe. If you have a comment that you'd like to add to this, by all means, throw it into the comment section. I love reading people's comments. If you would like to ask a question of the cards or you'd like a little room to comment, perhaps in a more anonymous fashion, by all means. This is my email address and I am more than glad to, to pick things up. However, if it is a question for the cards, the answer will come back in a video format as I do in every single reading that I put out. I add this because there is a problem with uh, fraudsters using YouTube communities in order to enrich themselves. So I just make it very clear that I don't do uh, private readings. And so if you're contacted by somebody with a, you know, WhatsApp deal for you and they say to me, they're not, they're not. So uh, just report them and move on. And on that note, I am going to say goodbye. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Talk to you later.